All right, everybody, we're uh, going to start User the meeting. Uh, I'd recording. like to thank you all for coming to the uh, Faction Play Roundtable pre-meeting. Um, we're trying to get all our ideas uh, collated into like a, a really good way of, of presenting it to Russ and PGI tomorrow. A lot of the people here are going to be... Of life when it comes to uh, Merc Star or it comes to Mech Warrior, um, we're gonna structure this in a, in a. We're gonna try to structure this as much as possible. We've got a lot of things to hit, so this meeting's probably gonna go pretty long. In the first hour and a half, we're gonna try to focus on the star map gameplay and things relating to cues and UI elements or any ideas that we can for the star map gameplay. After about an hour and 30 minutes of discussion on that, we're gonna to move towards on the ground gameplay and that's gonna be maps, getting more maps, creating more maps, things like that. And then at the end, uh, at about the three hour mark, we're going to attempt to get in a lot more questions from you guys on the outside who may not actually be in the, in the, in the chain Channel, you know, in the team speaker or, you know, stuff from the forums that I think that we could bring up or stuff like that. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover. I need to be clear. A lot of people are going to be talking. There's going to be a lot of ideas thrown around. Not everybody may be able to get their say in or whatever. Um, we just got to work to get this all done as quickly as possible. I, so I really appreciate that everybody came here and uh, let's get this started. There you so, go. Uh, just for, for viewers, if you guys have ideas you want to add or comments, uh, we can put them into the live stream. Uh, we're going to have a mod here soon. We hope to better filter that, but I think until then, everyone in this room is going to be trying to look and uh, take note. If you feel like it got missed, feel free to, to repeat the question or you know do a little spamming if you, if you need to be heard. And yeah. I mean, hopefully we can all <laughs> piece together a lot of varying ideas. And uh, as Sater said, uh, the goal is to start developing a cohesive plan for a way we can, uh, you know, make CW great again, maybe. But... I guess for sanity's sake, maybe just type an X in chat if you've got something to say that's going to take more than three sentences. So, so uh, the star map, that's a good place as any to start. Um... One well, per front. Well, you start with one planet per front. Um, one attack. If one attacks, you got a planet open there. If they both attack the same front, you have the algorithm flip a coin as to who goes first. The next one is the next one. But you only fight on one planet, and I, I, I'm pushing for a 24-hour, or, or actually like a 20 or a 28-hour cycle instead of every eight hours. Yeah. You know. And then you got more slices throughout the day to deal with, um, more chances for everyone to get involved. And with the sliding uh, ceasefire, everyone gets a, a chance to be at the end of the ceasefire cycle. One of the things that we've talked about in previous meetings and it's come up quite often is obviously the, the number of potential queues being a detriment for the, the amount of population we had. I mean, you could make the argument in way back in the beginning of CW when everyone and their grandma was playing CW that 10 factions was too many for that player base, and we're working on one-tenth of that player base at this point. So, you know, the problem's only uh, amplifying itself. So one thing, yeah, we'd really talked about was what if rather than one team attacking a planet, the other team attacking another planet, combine that somehow? You know, having exactly. And, you know, and actually, can we link the the shimmering sword picture of glory that he prophesized this moment? I don't know if that's possible. Uh, it's a that he did. shimmering's one. Linked. Yeah. Last page. And grab that. 
And uh, this is an idea that's been really popular uh, with a lot of people. And I think a lot of people to get behind this image once I grab it. I go ahead and keep talking about some other stuff while I'm doing this. So, well, Sater, I think they said you're being muted on the stream. They can't hear you. Really? Hmm. Don't. I hear you <laughs> on the stream, Sater, just to let you know. Oh, I, they said that it cut out for a second, but it's otherwise working okay. now, right? I sure hope so. So, uh, and I guess uh, for everyone here and for the people listening in, um, I'll, I guess take take certain things we say with a grain of salt in that these are ideas and they don't all necessarily piece together perfectly. Uh, this is <laughs> the very beginning alpha. You know, we, we basically had Monday night this this project got greenlit as far as we were concerned. So it's uh, a bit of a panic getting things sorted. So lots of ideas. Trick is fitting them together, I guess. So maybe you guys could explain this this system a little more. I'm looking at the the image right now. Well, uh, I designed it. We all kind of came upon the same idea, but I did this a year ago. Should I explain yeah, it? Yeah, go for it. So currently, like it's been said, we have an attack planet for both sides or a defense, depending on your perspective. And you know, it's two factions fighting each other, but it's still splitting the queues. And it's splitting our population. So what if both planets were up for contention as usual, but they were in a single queue that would instantly have all the buckets. It would prevent the whole thing of, well, I only want to play attack mode or counterattack or defense or, you know, retake, uh, just mix everybody together. It would also solve the issue of, you know, pre-mates tend to attack and then pugs tend to defend. You get more stomps that way. That all goes away as well. The odds even out. So we've got a left side for one planet, right side for the other. As one side wins more matches as usual, they push the bar in their favor. And uh, so in the middle, you've got no wins. About halfway to one side at seven wins, you've got a planet take. And at 13 wins, you've got your standard max out. Of course, that can change how many pips there are. Wouldn't this require that both sides be attacking each other? For this yes. Because a lot of times you have things like, like say, with Jade Falcon, where they're, they're so huge that they, they can pick multiple guys attacking them. Right. We talked about if you know your faction votes for where you attack if you voted to attack somebody and they didn't vote to attack you maybe you get a single planet queue like we're used to uh, there's multiple solutions yeah right the double planet thing would queue in it if you had they were both attacking the same side like you know sign or j falcon right now that would be a, 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 du a dual set it wouldn't even necessarily have to be two planets. You could just have one contested planet and have the balance, you know, go towards it being winning by the attackers or Well, sure, it does. Either it's in enemy territory or it's not. So you're not well, gaining anything out of your own planet if you're defending it. And I think you guys need to talk about the... Yeah, well, it's not even so much hiding, though. I mean, you know, it makes more sense to attack right now. So the organized groups attack, and they fill the queues, and the pugs see the filled up queues with numbers, and that's what they fill on the other side. And we perpetuate it on both sides of a split queue. Yeah, and it, and it works both ways. Where yeah. the, <laughs> if, if, if my team is attacking your faction, and I'm Clan Yerner Sphere, 50-50 plus chance I'm going to get, you know, puggies. And... So it, just from a attack point of view, it's difficult for unified factions to properly defend themselves simply because, well, you got the random pugs from across the known universe th effectively throwing games over and over again at a rate about as, you know, what you could do with a really high win rate, you know, if you're, if you're doing your jobs right. Uh, not to mention there's the arguably the imbalance of, uh, you know, it's harder to attack, sort of, or, you know, the base defenses give perhaps an advantage. Uh, a good example was, like, the, the big PGI event they ran, like, Tukid. I mean, Tukid was awesome, but clans were the attackers and the counter-defenders for the entire week event, and then Intersphere were the other side. 
Uh, so you can make an argument that, you know, perhaps that isn't balanced. So by having the same stuff on the same planet, you know, you've got 50-50 chance to be the attacker or 50-50 to be the defender, and you've got all the different options. Gets rid of the, some of the <laughs> goofy metagame of, you know, hiding behind certain uh, units or yeah. right. just and being the defender. Slice, and knowing, no matter what you were doing. I know, I know if you're attacking my planet, I know it's an organized 12-man purely of one faction, and that's a whole different ball game than good odds, it's pugs. That's yeah, it's a, it's a multifaceted fix. It, it does a lot of things. It does. Does anyone have, uh, like, does anyone want, have any additional ideas for this concept that they want to bring forward? I mean, it's an excellent base concept, but there might be ways we can take it an extra step. Do you guys think we need to cut the number of factions in the game to improve it? No. Bad alliances. I don't necessarily think that the number of factions yet, that's exactly what I was getting to. The alliances, you know, they, they could cut down on the queues by allowing, you know, say Steiner has an attack lane and they're allied with Davian. Davian should definitely be able to move their forces over in the Steiner space and help them attack. So one of the things we need is some sort of alliance system in the game. Well, if you, if you, uh, with this just basic merged queue idea here with two planets, if they didn't restrict bugs to only defending a certain side of that tug of war, this would automatically remove factions from the game because all factions could now drop on all borders on the offense. It would be done. You'd have have to deliberately stop that to maintain the current system. Mm. Uh, that's a, <laughs> and perhaps a drawback, or well, maybe not, depending if you want that. Yeah. Well, I, what, one one of the big you... ideas we had been push, pushing for since like the dawn of CW almost was ten factions too many. So what if you did Falcon and Wolf? Join an alliance, smoke dragon, ghost bear join an alliance. So there's now two clan teams, uh, and you could do a similar structure with the inner sphere, like say Merrick joins Karita, Leo joins FR, Davian and Steiner obviously have history. And I think you can do this in a way where me as a random player, I can still pick any of the ten factions. I can still display their flag. I can still earn points for that faction, whatever. It just is that those factions' queues become merged. So now, regardless of whether or not I'm Ghost Bear or I'm Smoke Jag, we're kind of just attacking the same planet. And that helps, like, especially right now, like, Ghost Bear and Smoke Jag have zero population. Like, it doesn't, they can't go anywhere. I think if we do an alliance system, we should leave it up to the loyalists to decide which factions they want to ally with instead of, should be part instead of, the of voting deciding. System. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. That would be you, cool to you have. Voting. You, you add it to another page on the voting system, you know, to have your faction vote for alliances. If it gets over 75% and they agree on both sides, you tune up. You know, it's simple. Yeah, I and agree this, with it. Right next to the page where you pick planets. We should adjust dynamically, too, so. So that's kind of ideal, right? We don't know where the f*** is going to be or what planets are going to be the hot spot in a given month, so you let the players vote for it. It doesn't even have to be 75%, make it 50%, and let people switch who their ally is every day. And that lets the player population, wherever it is, dynamically shift. That offsets a huge amount of the drama people make about big units moving around. Offsets that a lot, because then technically every loyalist faction can move around if they want to have that person as an ally. And uh, just want to mention somebody in the, the comments says, uh, Jimmy Jet says, the alliance needs to be lore based and not allow IS or clans to have an alliance. I, I agree. I don't think IS and clans should be able to ally each other. Agree. That's uh, right. That's not but, against lore, though, if you go forward enough in time. I know, but, but I think, with it, the I think balance it's an interesting game. part of, of faction play to have this sort of, you know, this sort of separation. I think that's something that sort of makes uh, makes the gameplay unique from quick play. I, you're, you're, you're absolutely right about that. That is one of the big unique features. On the flip side, and I know so many people would riot over this, but if you allow mixed tech, it doesn't even have to be like clan tech on inner sphere max. Just the fact that I can run an extra mech, or maybe even do like Inner Sphere allowed to run one clan deck in their Ford mech drop deck. 
if if you were to allow that it it kills all the balance issues doesn't it because suddenly it's like oh you know it works either way and especially when you when you take into account the you know pgi's balancing system where every four months the meta gets flipped on its head a bit and oftentimes when it gets flipped on its head the dice roll in favor of either inner sphere or clan and we've seen that shift back and forth back and forth for how long now it's and really so nice if we get them to stop trying to balance the max huh <laughs> at some point you think they're good yeah <laughs> Keep my mouth well you shut. don't even need to allow mixed decks you just you know here's an eight man of uh steiner they've allied with jade falcon here's a lance of falcons that have come to help them the decks are still pure it's just a mixed team yeah and yeah but then we'll, we'll my only balance. con sorry my only concern is that you know a lot of games are very sort of you know, it's it's eleven it's eleven pucks, and so you got you got mechs all over the place, and it's not just like a, a nice you know split. Uh, so Seder just poked me saying, um, need to announce that the stream will be restarting. Seder, can you elaborate? I just need five minutes. Okay, so you need five minutes for to get the stream back up. Yes. Okay. Well. Uh, well, the viewers, we'll be back in five minutes. And while you guys are gone on your mandatory break, uh, we're just going to talk about the same subject. We won't move on to another thing for the next five minutes. You know, I was thinking on the idea...